So we, uh, we got the RGB lights from the closet downstairs, but you can kind of see like the little line, but I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out something else. But anyways, hey guys, what's up? This is JRP Sun Sun from JG and Games. So as you guessed by the title, we are going to be redoing the how to make a HUD in Unity tutorial series. And you may be asking why, because it's like your best series that you've ever made. actually my most disliked series. It's a very misleading series, it's not very specific, it was hard to find, and then once you found it, you're just like disappointed by it. And another reason why I'm redoing it is because quite frankly, I'm gonna get stuck on doing one product at a time, Blender or Unity, and I'd rather not be stuck. I'd rather have one week where I'm doing a Unity tutorial and another week where I'm doing a Blender tutorial. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be alternating between Blender and Unity so that we're getting an adequate number of modeling tutorials and an adequate number of programming tutorials. So today we're getting started on the HUD by adding a very simple image, a crosshair. So we're gonna be starting off simple with things like crosshair, but then later down the line, I wanna get into some really complex stuff, but that'll come in a couple weeks from now. It's going to be basic, and it's gonna help you get familiar with the new UI system that was introduced in Unity 4.6. This tutorial should be kind of short because there's not that much stuff to do, but I do want to explain some of the basics of UI principles in Unity 4.6 and up. But that's enough talking, let's just head on over to the PC and let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and boot up Unity. I have Unity Hub, which basically allows you to install multiple versions of Unity onto the same thing. So if if your UI looks a little bit different than mine, it's all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project by going up here and clicking new. I'm gonna name this Make a HUD Project. I'm gonna save this into my D drive because I have more space on this drive. I'm gonna disable Unity Analytics because this is just showing you how to make UI. If you're using this in a game, then you can use Unity Analytics, but because I'm just gonna be showing how to use UI, we're not gonna be doing anything with analytics today. Now that we're done, I'm just gonna click Create Project and we're gonna wait for Unity to boot up. So now we got Unity open, we need to actually find a crosshair image. And because I'm not gonna be publishing my game, I'm gonna go to Google. Now obviously, if you were going to sell your game, you wouldn't be able to do this. You'd have to make your own so that you wouldn't get any copyright infringements. So I'm gonna open up Chrome, and I'm just gonna Google crosshair. And we get images, just so we can look at a couple. And you'll see that there are a ton of different crosshairs that we could pick from. For instance, both of sake, we're just gonna go with this one because it's pretty simple and we can mask it out pretty easily. So I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna click save image as, and I'm just gonna store this on my drive somewhere. Now in order for this to actually work, we need to make this image transparent. And this image is not already transparent. So I understand that not everybody has Photoshop, so I'm gonna actually be explaining this using GIMP as well. So the first I'm gonna do it in Photoshop, and then second I'm gonna do it in GIMP. So let's just go ahead and fix this image using Photoshop. So I'm just gonna minimize Chrome and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up Photoshop. After Photoshop's open, I'm just gonna click on the open button and I'm gonna go to where we saved our image. So I saved this in a make a HUD folder right here. All right, so now that we've got this, it's actually pretty straightforward to do in Photoshop. But first of all, we need to make it to where we can actually edit this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this layer right here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up this new layer panel. Basically what this is going to allow us to do is make it to where we can actually edit our image that we just selected. I'm gonna hit okay, not change anything. And now we can actually make changes to this image. So because this image is black and white, this is actually really easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go right underneath the lasso select tool and we're gonna click and hold and then we're gonna select magic wand. So we just gotta select the layer, then we can click on it and you'll notice that it selects everything around the crosshair. Then we can just hit the delete key and boom, our image is now transparent. Now that we've got this, we need to save this image as a PNG file because you can make transparent images using the PNG file type. So I'm gonna go up to file I'm gonna go export, export as, I'm gonna select PNG, and I'm gonna make sure that transparency is checked. And I'm gonna hit export all, and I'm going to save this to our folder. I'm just gonna call it Crosshair PS. Now we're done using Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to do this in GIMP real quick, and then we are going to hop right into putting this into Unity. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up GIMP by typing this into my search bar. Now again, if you don't know what GIMP is, it's basically open source Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open our image like we did in Photoshop. I'm gonna go up to file and I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna select this image that we have right here. I'm just gonna keep these as convert. Then what I'm gonna do is so that we can actually make this image transparent, I'm gonna right click on the layer and I'm gonna hit add alpha channel. What this will allow us to do is to make changes to our image and actually mess around with it and make it transparent. Now that we've got this, I'm gonna go up and select the magic wand tool or the fuzzy select tool. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the white and I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit edit and I'm gonna hit clear. And now boom, our image is now transparent. 
So just like in Photoshop, I'm gonna go file, export as. Now, first of all, we need to change the file type because if we just leave this as a JPEG, the transparency won't actually come up. So I'm gonna go down and click on select file type and I'm gonna scroll down until I see PNG image. And I'm just gonna change the name here to crosshair GIMP. That PNG and I'm gonna hit export. So now I've got this. We can import both of these into our project by going to Unity and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go import new asset and we go over to our D drive where our images are stored and I'm gonna import both of them. Now, in order for Unity to recognize that both of these images are actually transparent, we need to go over to texture type and change this to a sprite. So I'm just gonna go to the drop down, change it from default to sprite. And then what we can do is we can hit apply and you'll notice that it puts this gray and white grid around our object. That means that the image is now transparent. And you can also see it's transparent down here in our project window. I'm gonna do the same thing for the Photoshop version. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over to texture type, change it to sprite, and then I'm gonna hit apply. So now we need to actually add an image to our game. So I'm gonna click on game view because this will be a little bit easier for us to see in the game view. And I'm gonna go up to game object, UI, image. Now you may see this white grid right here and then be wondering where our actual image is. Well, it is actually here. It's just kind of off to the side of our canvas. So we're gonna fix that real quick. We also have to lock our image to the center of the canvas. So we're gonna actually kill two birds with one stone. So I'm gonna click on the image to select it. And then in the rec transform, you'll see there's the square here with the crosshairs in the middle of it. We're gonna click on this and you're gonna see all these anchor presets. Now you'll notice that if we hold shift, it also sets the pivot. And if we hit alt, it also sets the position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit shift and alt, and we're gonna select the middle one right here. This will move it to the center of our screen. This rectangle that you see around the grid is actually our UI. So if we go to game, you'll notice that it is dead center in our screen. So this image is a little bit big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the width and the height of the image by going over to the rec transform once again. Go to width and I'm gonna change it to 75. And the height, I'm also going to change to 75. Now we just need to make our crosshair image that we imported actually show up on the screen in this space. So you'll notice we have this image script right here, and right here we have a variable for source image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna select the Photoshop version and drag it into the source image. And there it is. The crosshair has been added to our scene and it looks really good. And another way to see this is that if we scale this menu up and down, the crosshair will always stay in the center of our screen, which is really nice. And this works with both versions, the Photoshop version, or if we throw in the GIMP image, it works the exact same way because they're both the exact same image. That's basically all there is to it. It's that simple to add a crosshair into Unity. So that's really all there is to it. It's really that simple to add a UI object and to add a crosshair into your game in Unity. I really hope that this series has already better than my last How to Make a HUD series. I want to make this series so much better than my other one. But I want to hear from you guys. Was this series already more informative than the last one? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a crosshair in Unity. If this video sucked, then you know what to do. But if it did, it, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content don't forget to check out our website social media and merch as well as our community discord server all those links will be in the description below thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time